Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a CV for students with no experience. So, before we start, hurry up and check out our daily software just under this video. So, let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, where, what website, where do you go to create your CV? So, in this case, we could actually use the following platform, which is going to be livecareer.co.uk. Now, for us to get started here, you need to go to their website. So once in their website, let's go ahead and click on the Create ACV button here. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to click on Create ACV button again, and this should start loading up the Live Career platform. It's going to say Create a Job Winning CV in Minutes. So we just need to follow the, follow the steps that will be appearing on your screen to, for you to create your CV. Let's go ahead and click on Let's Go. Now from here, it's going to ask you, have you ever written a CV? So depending on how you answer here, they will actually guide you on what things they need to fill out here. So in this case, you can either answer yes or no. But in this case, I'll be answering yes here. And from here, let's go and click on continue. Now it's going to say, how do you feel about writing a CV? So in this case, you go ahead and answer whatever you want here. It's your preferable preference. So in this case, I'm going to say, okay, click on continue. That's going to say or ask you, which industry are you writing the CV for? So there are going to be a lot of industries here. You could go ahead and click on the add your own if you don't see your industry. But for now, let's go and choose technology, click on continue. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to choose the template for our account. So you could choose from the following templates here, but if you want to see more, just click on the see all templates option and see other templates that you could use. So as an example, I'll be using the first template that we see here. Let's go ahead and click on it and click on choose this template. Now from here, you have two options. So you have the option to create a CV from scratch here, or if you already have a CV prepared before, like for example, in PDF format, you can actually upload them into their servers and convert that into their server, which in this case, will, this will actually translate your current CV to the format that you've chosen in the previous screen. But in this case, I want to create a new one. Let's go ahead and select this one. And from here, it's going to apply that team and it's going to now ask us to fill out all the SIR details here. So in this case, there are a few things they need to remember for you to uh, successfully create your CV. So first things first is you need to make sure that your CV is well structured. So one of them is to make sure that you only provide the necessary details. So do not include details or experiences that is not related to that specific field. So for example, if you're in the IT field, it is worth noting that you only include your experience in the IT industry. Sometimes including uh, experiences on other uh, industries could actually give your CV less value. So in this case, make sure to maximize, but also minimize the information that you include here. Now, also, uh, there are going to be some uh, CV formats here. Like for example, you want to first include your name, your surname, and then uh, dash CV as the file name. When you actually complete the whole thing and you already have the PDF. So this case is going to provide our details here. That includes the first name, the surname, CD, region, a country, region, phone, postcode, and email address. So let's go and provide those details. Now, once you hit on the next page, it's now going to ask you to create your account. So you have the manual way of creating your account or using your either your Facebook or your Google account to basically create your account. So in this case, I'm going to choose the option that says Google login. And from here, I want to choose my email here. And from here, just click on continue for us to proceed to the next page for live career. In this case, it's going to say now, let's fill out your experience section. Let's go and click on continue. Now from here, let's go and provide the details or job experience that we have. So in this case, you can go add your uh, job title, the employer that you have before, the start date, as well as a bunch of information like CD and country, uh, co uh, country it was actually uh, uh, who you actually work for with. In this case, if you currently work on it, you could go ahead, currently working on that specific company. You could choose the I currently work here section. Now, also in your professional section, uh, make sure to only craft like around three to four sentences as a summary, highlighting your current courses or uh, universities or key skills that you got from that experience. Now, in this case, uh, let's go and provide all the details here. 
Now, once you've added the actual company here, it's going to ask you to now add details about the role and its responsibilities. Now, in this case, like what I said before, make sure to only include the necessary information. So sometimes including uh, a lot of information here can actually hinder you on uh, getting those job applications or get or, or basically block you from being uh, hired. So make sure that you're actually explaining it properly. Don't use any fancy word. Get to the actual point and basically use as much ac uh, accurate words that you could basically describe here. Again, do not exaggerate, but also be truthful. But as well, do not make it long. So make it as short as possible and accurate. So in this case, let's go and provide those details. So in this case, let's go and click on the continue button at the very bottom. And as you can see, we now have the review work history. In this case, you can go and click on add more experience if you have further experience. But for now, let's go and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to say you're only listed one job. Do you want to add another position? But for now, let's go and click on skip. That's going to ask you to add your education. Let's go and click on continue. Now in this case, uh, let's go ahead and provide the institution, the city, field of study, describe your education as well, and a quick summary in the bottom section here. Now in this case, in this uh, section, emphasize your degrees, predicted grades, relevant courses, uh, dissertation topics, if applicable, and any academic rewards or scholarships, including include A-levels, GC, SEs, IB or IGC, SE results, if they threaten your profile. So basically, add any strong uh, characteristics or any achievements that you receive on your education. Any awards, certifications during your education here can actually help you a lot. So in this case, let's go and provide those details. Now, if you studied in another university as well, you could add another education here. But for now, let's go and click on continue. And from here, it's going to ask you to showcase your skills. So let's go and click on continue. Now on this page, what you need to do is you need to add the uh, skills that, that actually fits you. Now they also, with the live career uh, format or the live career website here, it recommends you a few skills that you might want to add here, like quality assurance, rapport building. So in this case, if you want to add those, just click on add skills. But for now, let's go ahead and click on skip. Now let's go ahead and add the skills that we want. So for example, quality assurance, basic math, administrative support, and let's just say you're going to be project planning and coordination. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Now we now need to add a summary. Let's go ahead and click on continue. Now, like what we mentioned before, make sure to be accurate and truthful to your summary here. So if there are any good points regarding your um uh uh, CV here, make sure to highlight that, but as well, do not make the actual summary here really, really wrong, uh, long. So in this case, make it short, but as accurate as you can be. So in this case, once you've added your summary, you can go and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to say, now let's consider any extra sections. So let's go and click on continue. Now, if you want to add, like for example, extra sections like languages, certifications, hobbies, interests, you can go ahead and click on them and that would that section will now be added and you should be able to fill out those uh, sections. But for now, we're not going to choose one of them. But again, if you want to, you could go ahead and do that. But for now, let's go and click on continue. Now, as you can see, we now have our CV here. So in this case, you could add another section if you want to do a spell check if you want to. And if you want to download your CV, you could go and click on download. And from here, you can choose one of the following formats like MS Word, plain text, or even Adobe PDF, which is the usual format that you print your uh, CVs. Now, in this case, you can go and click on download to download the actual uh, CV. Now, if you want to print, you can go ahead and click on print, or if you want to email this to yourself or to or to a potential company that you want to work to or the recruiter, you could go ahead and click on the email option. Now, you can change a few things here as well, like for example, the font style, formatting, the color, and even the template that you could use here. As you can see, we can change the template and the details that is included here does not actually change. So in this case, the platform itself actually allows you to change the actual template without affecting the details that is included there, so which is a great way for you to uh, switch up your template or your CV here, uh, really uh, actually pretty good. So in this case, if you're done, you can go and click on save and next at the top right here. And that should save your CV. And from then on, you should be good. So in this case, if you want to get their plan here, which in this case allows you to get or basically use the features or or 
in this case, all the features that they offer, you could either get the 14 day full access or the monthly access here. So if you get the monthly access here, it's a lot less. So you'll be able to save more. But if you want to actually uh, use the 14 day full, uh, full access as well or utilize that first, you use it here as well. Now, in this case, that's how you use or how do you, how you make a CV for students in a, a life career. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.